So let's consider a final example, a mass, again, a unit mass at the position minus one, one, and one. So all of the positions are off axis. With arms in all directions, we do expect that a torque in any direction will produce rotations in all three directions. So let's consider first a force in X, this force here. So it will pick the Y component of the arm and produce a torque in Z. Now, uh, the Z component of the arm is going to be picked by the force and produce a torque in the Y direction. Consider now a force in Y. The force in Y is going to pick the arms in X and Z and produce torques in Z and X. And finally, a force in Z is going to pick the arms in X and Y and produce torques in the Y and the X direction, respectively. So indeed, torque in one direction will inevitably produce accelerations in all of the other directions. So let us see how the tensor notation clarifies this behavior. Going back to the inertia tensor, the inertia moments that you get from this configuration are given by this. So write an 18 matrix form, you have the relationship between the torques and the angular accelerations. You see that all components are non-zero. So these three equations spelled out individually are given by, by these expressions. So indeed, a torque in X produces a rotation around the X axis, but the rotation around the X axis also induces rotations around the Y and the Z axis, all in the same sense that all the three components are positive. That's what you see here. If you have a torque on the X direction, you cannot have this torque without a torque in Y and also a torque in Z. And notice that they have the same sign. If the torque acts in positive, the torque in Y is positive, and the torque in X and Z also have the same sign. In this case here, both negative. And a torque in Y indeed produces a rotation around Y, but also rotations around X and around Z. Notice that in this case, uh, if you have a rotation around Y, you have a rotation around X and a counter rotation around Z, which is what we see here in this graphical representations. A rotation in Y leads to a rotation of the same sign around X and a rotation of a negative sign around Z. And finally, a torque in Z produces a rotation around Z followed by a rotation around X and a counter rotation around Y. This is again what we have here in this graphical representations. If you have a rotation in Z, you have a rotation of same sign around X and it will also induce a counter rotation, a rotation of opposite direction around the Y axis. So you see here how the matrix formalism, how the tensor formalism simplifies these expressions.